volgende halte, next stop, station Den Haag Centraal. Train station. Yo, check this out. Like, sis, when are we going to be turned on? It's been a while. And I'm like, sis, chill. <laughs> Gallery open to ten for you and your friends. You know how I spend in H O U S T O N. I get too crazy, had a little bad enough. We stay good friends. There goes my baby. Hi, babe. It's us again. Come to the then and you know how it goes when I see you again. You know I'm making my way to your ends, and you know I need you to be there for me. You a little post so baby. You a little 48 baby. Got a little candy in a pocket. You be in beta. Then the bucket of cambia so far to keep. This is the behind the scenes. If you want the lifestyle, we are randomly in this parking lot. Show them the parking lot. We found this parking lot randomly. Candelas. In the central. Eh, eh. No. Oh my god. We and, live this mom. <laughs> and we were like, yes, this is definitely a spot that we can take pictures. I think somebody pushed the button for the lift. I'm going to wait. So when I'm done putting on my shoes, I'm just going to get out. Best. <laughs> and then we're going to enter back so we can use the lift for pictures and then maybe in the parking lot. <laughs> but all this is the behind the scenes. I also have to quickly change my joggings into this shirt. Yeah. <laughs> A whole vibe here. But anyway, child, let me just be fast <laughs> so they can get the lift. Oh, wow, child. <laughs> Yo, check this out. Uh -huh. Are summer ready, even though we are just entering spring on summer ready, right? Just the vibe, just the vibe. Monday pictures. <laughs> she gon' take off like a. You already know. Dirtied up a couple on the north side. Text you, but I know you probably cross side. No, I gotta come and check the whole man, baby. Hold tight. I just touched the city with the cheap block stainers And we got it to buy some I don't know if y'all can really see me legit Because it's a little bit <laughs> <laughs> It's like, fuck this shit It's making too much sound <laughs> So yeah, um, I don't know if y'all can really see me Because it's a little bit dark But we are heading right now To the famous hotel that I usually take pictures at <laughs> It's not really famous though and I also want to keep it low-key if you want to know the location contact me in the DM then I will say it but I'm not just going to post it out there if not I'm going to lose my own spot so anyway <laughs> we're heading there it's like a five minute walk or less from where we was at the parking so yes it's a wrap it's a wrap we made it happen Oh my gosh, like the hotel always has the perfect spot. We're going over maybe two weeks or three weeks over there because he's also busy and they need more pictures. But I also want to go with more chicer outfits there because it's the perfect place to take like bomb chic photos. Oh, next stop. Here's my photographer, Halto Halto Tan. <laughs> Hi guys, so yes, we are heading home or I am ready heading home. He's also riding, heading home, but he's going to grab the train so we can head home. And uh, also we're going to get something to eat first thing first and then head home. So Volgende halte, next stop, station Den Haag Centraal, train station, VVV, tourist information, <laughs> let op, links uitstappen, beste reizigers. Deze tram rijdt na station Den Haag Centraal door als tram 17 naar Wateringen. Oh, dat is ook een ding. Gewoon blijven zitten en niet sí. opnieuw uit en in te zetten. Dat is ook een ding. Zende.
bills and then so yes yeah, as, as i wanted to say um i'm a little bit late already for gym today because they close at 10 and it's already 20 it's already half nine half nine 8 30 <laughs> p.m it's already 8 30 p.m and i usually take two hours to work out as i want so yeah it's too late but um tomorrow and also on sunday i'm going to catch up on the two missing days that i have this week for gym so yeah that's an update and later on also i'm going to record if that's with coco and clean the house tomorrow and edit also deep up with coco because the house is a mess not nice so see ya hi my babes happy saturday um it's one day before spring it's 19th of march tomorrow it's spring but i'm feeling the spring vibes already so for me let's start spring today okay so happy spring <laughs> happy blossoming months happy blossoming season yeah let's call it season happy blossoming season the season that we're going to be blossoming and glowing in this beautiful woman or this you know handsome man <laughs> that god created us, us for in this lifetime you know we will be glowing finding life and everything finding life and light Boom. no negative energy only positive vibrations i really hope this is a recording because this is my second time recording i don't know what's happening these days i think i'm recording i think i pushed the button but i didn't push it and i wasn't recording the whole time but anyway, um, I just wanted to quickly um, share with y'all this dream that I had and it made me feel so at peace with myself. And this dream was me, I think I was on a bicycle or, a, or on a scooter, I don't know exactly, but I was on a two wheel something. <laughs> and um, I heard this um, girl crying and I was like, mm, what's happening? Let me go check and see what's happening. So I ran there and saw this girl crying and screaming. Why did nobody tell me not to do this? I blame this on all of y'all. And I was like, girl, what's happening? The girl was in her, I think, 12, 13 years old or something like that. And I went to the girl and asked her, like, girl, are you okay? What's, what's the matter? <laughs> I'm trying to understand, like what's the shenanigans going on what's with all the screaming and crying and she started saying yes she started saying to me like yes i blame this on everybody i did my hair i think she went to straighten her hair, hair or something like that and damage her hair and i was like girl seriously you're blaming everybody for your own damn actions you wanted yourself you for yourself you wanted to do this you wanted to do this for your damn self. You wanted to straighten your hair and now that you did it, you blame it on everybody. Like, it's just hair. It's going to grow back. Like, are you okay? She was like, no, look at the front of my hair. It's breaking off so bad. And I'm like, girl, chill. It's going to grow back. Just give it the proper treatment. It's going to grow back. But then I realized like, no you're not understanding it goes big uh, wow it goes deeper within she's battling things or this was the perfect opportunity for her to blame everything on everybody because it goes deeper there's so much other things that was bothering and boiling from the inside and this was you know the top of the cake and she wanted to pop the cherry real quick <laughs> and burst it on everybody and i was like oh so now i understand what's the real problem and i sat down and told this girl like listen um i know what you're battling i know it's not easy but you have to get in tune with yourself and 
I just started talking so much things with this girl and this girl hugged me so tight and started crying that I had to begin crying with her. I was crying and crying and consoling her and before I know it, this 12, 13 years girl transformed into a little girl from of four to five years. And then I realized like, girl, this is you. You're consoling your own child, your own dumb little child, your own self. All your traumas and everything, you finally healed from it. And when I looked up, I saw my family in front of me. I saw my mom, my sister, and my brothers, and my dad. They are not legit my current family. But in my dream, they were my family. And my dad started saying like, I'm so proud of you. You came a long way. You found peace. You healed. Um, you connected deeper with God. I can see that in you. And look at you now. Consoling and being an example for others, others out there. This is you letting loose of everything that was holding you back. And I was like, wow, I really needed this. I really needed this. I really needed those words so bad. And when I woke up, I felt this immediately peace within myself. I'm feeling good. Like, first thing first, <laughs> I wanted to tell my friend about this dream because I have a super close friend of mine. We usually talk about all these dreams and all the, these synchronicities whatever that's happening like we talk all about it and then i sat right here on the edge of my window on my bed and talked to god like god this is you talking back to me and telling me like girl i'm so proud of you you overcome everything and look at you just when spring arrived you're going to be blossoming you transform completely in this woman in this new woman that i wanted to transform you your focus was turned on me and yourself and you did it you finally did it and when i was done praying and talking to god I grabbed my Bible. <laughs> I have it lay here on the edge of my window. So here's my Bible. I grab it and I have this thing because I don't know. Because like this is my first Bible. So I don't know like all those things that happen in the Bible. Like I heard so many things here and there. So I know a few things about the Bible but not legit know the Bible. So I have this thing that i speak to god and tell him okay god if i need any words today just reveal to me which verse i have to go to and i will just follow my own spirit says to me like read this one so i did it today <laughs> and he gave me a verse i will pop it on the screen and the verse was exactly what i needed to hear exactly what i needed to hear it was him confirming me over and over again, like, girl, you are ready. You settled. You focused on you. You believed in me. You walked in faith. Um, you transformed. You healed. You overcame. Like, you passed all the tests and... It's ready. It's ready. I'm sending it to you. This is so... I mean, y'all, the best thing that you can do is just give your life to God. Anything that you're battling, give your life to God. You will find a peace from within. He will guide you. Like, the signs, the words, everything that you get from Him will serve you for the good and better purpose 
you will feel love the love that you're searching for in other people <laughs> you have to search it in god <laughs> and then you will find the love in yourself and so on he can bless you with those that will truly love you and value you in this lifetime wow just amazing i just wanted to share that today with y'all um right now i wanted to record deep past with coco since yesterday i also put a um alarm so that i could wake up around five in the morning but that failed <laughs> but right now it's i think okay so hopefully this time this thing was recording and it's not going to cut me off again because the first time that i record the footage that i was talking about the dream i thought that it didn't record because when i grabbed the phone it wasn't recording and when i looked in my gallery it wasn't there so i recorded for the second time and when i grabbed my phone it wasn't even in the gallery i'm like I know for sure I put it on record and put it to record. Like, what's happening? What What's happening? I even um brought my phone to Apple because this phone keeps glitching and doing all these weird shits. But the phone works perfectly. Supposedly. I don't know. But anyway, ciao. Um, also, don't mind my messy hair. I'm, I need to wash my hair. And also, I have these two pimples on my forehead. Mm, ciao. It's a whole lot of thing happening, but ignore that. Hear me out. <laughs> so yes, as I was saying, in that footage that got cut it off, obviously, um, I put an alarm to record deep thoughts with Coco five in the morning. That failed. So right now it's almost seven. So <laughs> I'm going to catch up and record deep thoughts with Coco right now. And uh, is this thing recording? I had to check, okay? I had to check. So, yes, um, I'm going to film Deep Thoughts with Coco right now. I'm going to just restyle my hair real quick. And then, <laughs> when I'm done, I'm going to wash my hair. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm just going to let the footage of Deep Thoughts with Coco render so I can edit it out when I'm done taking a shower and washing my hair. And hopefully, it can be up on time on Saturday hopefully and what else i wanted to update y'all on oh yes my house <laughs> my house it needs to be cleaned like asap i usually i i usually don't let my house get this messy as it is right now never happened um but i think bef because i was drowning in my own emotions and my energy and those negative energies that was surrounding me <laughs> um it became like a habit to do nothing so i didn't do nothing in the house but right now i'm going to start clean cleaning back in the house because i have these two diffusers watching me like sis when are we going to be turned on it's been a while and i'm like sis chill chill you're going to be turned on the proper way when it's the time <laughs> and the time is approaching okay <laughs> so yes i want to clean the house if i don't get the chance to clean it today then i will do it tomorrow and maybe and then i'll turn on the camera for a bit i don't know we will see but i really want to clean the house because i cannot see my house like this my house usually is super squeaky clean most of the time like most of the time like all the time <laughs> and my fuser are turned on like almost 24 7 and also my candles so it's always a fresh brush of air in the room, but right now, no, it doesn't even feel like that. So, no, we're going to change that right now, real quick. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. And also, I lay down right here in the corner so I can catch a little bit of sound, like catching up on all those warm weather vibes <laughs> and also the glow. So we can consume all the positive energy, you know. <laughs> so, yes, that's all I wanted to say, y'all. So I'll meet y'all maybe tomorrow or on Monday. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Um, Welcome in the bed with Coco. <laughs> so right now it's 11 in the morning. Mm, I'm going to start 
I'm going to start to get ready. <laughs> I'm going to get ready for classes. I have school at one today. Um, so I have to be really fast because I don't want to be late because it's like always when I have classes later in the day, um, I have the tendency to get late for class and I want to get, I want to be on time this time. <laughs> like, ciao. It's always something. Either I'm late or there's a delay with the train. Always, always. So we're going to try to do our best to be on time. Um, today, um, I have classes at 1. I think I will be finished around 3 or 3.30 today or something like that. And after that, I want, I want to go to a coffee shop. Wow. Coffee shop. Saying coffee shop in Netherlands sounds really wrong. Because coffee shop has another meaning here in the Netherlands. But I want to go to a cafe <laughs> and just chill right there and get things done on my laptop. Do some work that I need to get done for myself. Because um, I realize that I'm more productive when I go to a coffee shop than being at home. Excuse my stomach, y'all, because I'm a little bit hungry. So if you hear that roar <laughs> it was my stomach <laughs> so yes um i'm more productive when i'm at a coffee shop so i want to do this at least weekly or at least um every past two weeks um i want to go to a coffee shop and get things done for myself because you know we have to keep elevating and growing and uh, step forward in life we can stay at the same you know at the same spot we have to keep it pushing and move forward so yes i want to head to a coffee shop and just chill and get things done there also it's just the chill vibes it's just like freeing your mind i love it if you never tried this before like go try it out and you will definitely love it it's just so relaxing and you will be so you will feel so accomplished because you got so much work done in just a few hours. And after that, I want to head back home and finish cleaning. Y'all, I've been cleaning for three days already. So today will be the third day. I'm doing a super deep clean through the whole house. I'm done with the bathroom. Um only thing that i want to change in the bedroom is the cur um, shower curtain i want to get a new one but i clean completely in the bathroom and i also have a sink um cabinet um that i put all my products and everything in there um everything of usage um i also clear the whole thing throw everything that needs to be thrown out so i did a super cleaning thing in the bedroom and also i started also i started also in the house but i want to organize and deep clean also my kitchen cabinets so that's also pending and i want to also clean my window that's also pending so those two things are the final two things that i need to get done and also the table that i sit on um in front of my mat also but that's a fast thing so yeah let's hope that today it's the final day of deep cleaning because ugh, i'm so tiring of cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and didn't even realize that it will be taking me so much days but we are here and we have to get it done that's part of the routine that's part of life you know being a woman you have to keep your things organized and clean like get your shit together and get it together so yeah, y'all, it's getting a little bit late. I've been talking, I don't know for how long, but I'm just going to jump out of bed and get in the shower, hop in the shower and get ready for classes. I also have my hair in this pineapple puff. My hair is shining and super defined, super curly. I love it. But I also realized that on one side of my head, just in the front, I have like a little bit of damage, but... The next time that I'm going to wash my hair, I'm going to use the Olaplex Step 3 just to get my curl back in uh, its own rhythm because it's not super damaged. It's just a little bit, it came a little bit loose, but I think it also 
the reason of this was be because I um, kind of blow dried and flat ironed my hair like a few months ago and it lingered around with me just for a bit so i'm going to try to use the olaplex step tree and see if this is going to help my hair a little bit better but for now it's still looking super cute and super defined i love it i'm just going to pop it open for school and also i will be showing you all my outfit before i get up okay, so this is my breakfast um i have young cheese and comain cheese and also the thing on top is pain de provence <laughs> I don't know exactly what it is, but it tastes like pizza and it makes it taste so much better and delicious. And also I put them a little bit in the oven so they are a little bit melted. And with some strawberry. So that's what I'm having for breakfast now that I begin my healthy journey. So yes. Quick outfit check. So I got this oversized shirt. My pre with my jacket and this pants is by naked and with my zara bag that's essentially my school bag <laughs> and um, for accessories i always wear anna luisa and i think i have a coat i will pop it on the screen because anna luisa all my accessories that i um use are from anna luisa and they are so so inexpensive they are so, so good quality and they don't fade from color. So I totally recommend Ana Luisa. So if I can get my coat, <laughs> I'm going to check it out and I will pop it out on the screen. So let's go because I think I will relate again. So let's go. <laughs> well, Miss Amores, I'm back home. Um, it's not that I didn't vlog anymore but i had school till 4 30 and when i was on my way back home i went to my favorite cafe or the one that i went the last time to and they closed very early so ciao ciao i had only 30 minutes so i didn't get the chance to do nothing so i came obviously back home um i managed to pay everything that needs to be paid in advance i only miss my rent and my what else i think it's only my rent but i will pay that at the end more at the end of this month so it feels really good even though your your bank account is not at the finest but it feels good to pay all your things in time and just be, you know, in peace that you pay everything and you don't have to be stressed about nothing. So, yes, that's what I did. And also right now, I want to do a few other things and then I'm going to start cleaning the rest of the things in the house. So, yes, that was it, I guess. I don't think that I'm going to do nothing tomorrow. I have online classes. I don't know if I'm going to go outside. But if then, if not, then probably this is the end of the vlog. If not, then we will have uh, extra footage after this. So, yes, y'all. <laughs> okay, so I hopped in to show y'all this plate. I was craving Mexican food so bad. And this thing slaps. It has sour cream, guacamole, red beans, olives, tomato sauce, um, cheese, lettuce, corn. It also has like some nachos, nacho shells, and also with some rice and um, carne mechada, onions. Like this thing is so, so good, y'all. It's good it's slapping <laughs> slapping but anyway i'm going to finish eating because i'm so hungry i have a bad um headache so bad because i um last eat since the morning so yeah i'm going to finish eating y'all <laughs> and also i'm so tired so
Then we got adopted by some fit for strangers. You know what it means when I twist these fingers. Me and you being on a first name basis. Why you think I hate it when you talk that Drake shit? Same reason that you never left me hanging. Same reason that I tried to make you famous. Same reason that I tried to show you just who I was.